Welcome to the biggest game I have ever had. The most damage I have ever done. Featuring the, the WZ-122, but first, how about a fun clip? Um, this is Cold War. This is the M50, what it can do. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hello, uh, Chieftain, you're dead. We killed him, he had two marks. He may have been going for three, but now he's going back to one. And if you thought that was disgusting, how about this next clip? Which is the very next magazine loaded in the tank. It's not a magazine though, it's a bunch of tubes. The next set of shells loaded in the tubes. Alright, well, we've got six of them. H-E- Oh, hello, Mr. Leopard One. One. Two. Three. And what's over here? Oh, okay. How about you? Four. Five. And last but not least, one for you. Six. <laughs> three kills. My name was up on the screen at three instances at once, which is pretty cool. I just wanted to show that off. But we're in the WZ-122. We are using the replay system because I was playing in bed, not at my computer. So I was not able to record it. But we've decided to make this entertaining for you. I've added my own sound effects because the replay system is also bugged right now where you don't hear your own tank. I don't know why that is. You don't hear your shells being fired, your missiles being fired. You don't hear your engine or your reload or anything like that. If it has to do with your tank, you don't hear. You do hear enemy shells being fired and enemy shells bouncing off of you. Which means it's the shells that have the noise and not your tank, which is quite an interesting little bit of trivia that we found out. Because... And we can figure that out simply because our tank does not have any noise to it. Everyone else's does. So, but don't worry, we've, we've added some noises. And you'll like them, we've taken an actual 122 sound. I say actual, but it's from War Thunder. Hee <laughs> hee. It just sounds good, okay? Now, I've driven to this position here on this map. This is my favorite spot in World War II. I've been having so much fun here and been pulling off some big games here with things like the Grill 15, the Leopard 1, other tanks with good camouflage. Uh, but we don't have good camouflage in World War in uh, Cold War. Everything has too much view range and we didn't prioritize camouflage on this tank. And so we're actually going to sit here for probably about 30 seconds, kind of just like what do we do? This is not going to work. Hmm, just waiting, waiting for them to make a mistake, waiting for them to get tired of waiting for me. So that I can ambush them. I can poke back up to get some spots. No, nothing, nothing. Okay. We just have to be patient. And that's the thing. That's one of the best things you can do in this game is just be patient. You will win so many encounters because players get impatient. They get anxious. They decide to forget about you. Like, alright, well, I'll just go do something else. And then you can just go, oh, actually, I'm still here. Hello. Bop, bop, bop. You're dead. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. We're waiting for our time. Uh, this little medium tank has decided to push up and shoot other people so now we are moving up we are getting under his gun putting shells in well just kidding we missed we are 0 for 2 this game but now we put a shell in pen him there he misses us with his heat shell keeping an eye on the t-55 and now let's get some missile action in here Oop, missile boom this tank has eight missiles four of which you can load at the same time and they have like an eight seconds or ten seconds in interclip reload or whatever it is um so and that's okay. Uh, but this tank is absolutely nasty because you have such great DPM. I mean, we're reloading every like 4.7 seconds with this 470 alpha, something like that. Don't quote me on the alphas. I don't know the alphas. I just pulled this tank out to get some money because I have a big video coming up where I'm playing all of your dumb builds and having fun in the game. It's gonna be crazy. And uh, yeah, I made uh, 4 million credits in the span of an hour and a half, which is pretty crazy. They tell me that Cold Wars has credits nerfed, but I'm still making lots of money. And that was also why I wasn't recording, because I didn't intend to have any replays to share with you from Cold War. I mean, I 3 marked the Leopard 1A1, or A2, or whatever it is, Leopard 1A1, I think it's the A1. Um, and then I had a, a couple 10k games at Era 2, then I had a crazy game at Era 3, and then this one was the best. I was like, you know what, if I'm going to grab one, it's going to be this one. And so, here it is. We broke our damage record. We broke our damage record three times yesterday, which was kind of annoying, because I don't like having the beating my damage record in Cold War, but now we have to do it. We'll see how much damage we have to do to, to make it back. But you're just seeing the missile and the 122 
just going back and forth. They're absolutely nuts together. The amount of damage you could do so quickly. Kaboom! That Mobat didn't stand a chance versus this tank. And we put another shell there into that light tank. And it's, it's just rack up damage. The DPM, it's nuts! It's absolutely nuts just how much you have. What I want to see sometime here in World of Tanks is the ability to play Cold War tanks with World War II tanks in the team training. And I know that's difficult because the shells perform differently and their physics perform differently in Cold War as compared to World War II. But if they could figure that out, that'd be super, super cool to have like, you know, maybe like five of these versus like 10 or even 15 T-62As just to see. But here, here's another missile. Boom. Kaboom. Absolutely satisfying noises because, because I've added noises. That's what I've done. <laughs> because there was, were, there were no noises. And again, there were no noises as I was shooting those guys and hitting them. Meaning my missiles are what have the noise, not the tank itself when it's hit. Which is also why when they're shooting me, so no, no, I say that, but there was a noise there. I guess I've lied. Never mind. Eh. Anyway, hello, little pesky light tank. He keeps shooting me, and it's not very fun. We fire a missile there, but it doesn't fuse and doesn't go off. It hits them, but does nothing. Uh, that is a little bit of a change that they did in the game. Uh, we're not gonna wait for a reload, we gotta blow back up because he's pointing his gun at us. So I do use a missile, I wouldn't call it a waste of a missile because it needed to be done. He goes down, and now we're trying to escape into this smoke because the light tank might be trying to flank us. And we're trying to keep ourselves with this tank destroyer. And if I can get, the, get around this corner, I do, I get around before he spots me, and so now he's tunneled, I put one shell into him. Can I put another shell in him before he gets away? Then he'll be a one shot. Yes we can, my reload is quick. One more into him, I can't shoot my missiles, he's too close. But now we're gonna finish him off here, unless he finishes me off. No, we finish him off, he dies. And now we change our attention to this T-62. Now the T-62, can we kill him here with this shot? We fire it off, and we miss, but hey, guess what? We can now switch to the other view, because I did capture the last minute of the game, using the Xbox record, you know, one minute system thing. Finish off the T-62A. Now there's a light tank behind us. We aim our gun that way. He finishes off our M60, but we finish him off, and now we find ourselves in a one versus one. We're up to 10,407 damage and eight kills. We have eight APDS, a APF SDS shells left. This guy is full health. Checking my missiles. We have one loaded. We only have two left. We're not going to be able to shoot both, I don't think, so we're going to try to find a position here to shoot him with our main cannon and maybe get a missile in. There he is. All right, let's see what we can do. Aim this shell nice and carefully. Boom, right into his tracks. Switch to our missile, fire it off, aim it in. Boom, we hit him. Switch back to our main cannon, fire it off. Boom, we hit him. He misses us with his cannon, his missile, and now he's trying to get away. Can we reload? Boom. Yes, we can. We finish him off. Finishing the game with 9 kills and over 12,000 damage. Scoring us, of course, the MVP. But before we jump into the post-game results, take a look at this. When he fires his missile, boom. It hits in front of us, according to our screen. But I have captured the replay system as well. And ready? Nice and slow motion. He fires his missile. Watch. It whizzes by us by about a meter and a half. I don't know which is correct my screen or the replay but either way there it is we've got the discrepancies but that is the game nine kills 12,507 damage 729 assist damage ace tanker cool-headed which isn't really impressive in cold war because people fire their machine guns at you 22,002 base experience my highest damage of all time of course cold war so it doesn't count to me it doesn't count but if you liked it and you were impressed, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to. But stay tuned for more World War II. This, this was just a quick break to make some money. That's it, and I'll see you all later. Take care, and peace out.